define himself consists of the three F's that stand for major values in his life. Are you intrigued? Yes. Then let's welcome Mitch Laps and his first speech, the three F's. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. It's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time to get up in the morning. Do, 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 do. Every Sunday morning, my brother and sister and I, this is kind of how we woke up. My dad would come into our room in this ugly flannel robe of his and sing this song. And it was a way for us to know it's time to get up and go to church. If you were living... In this house, Dad said, every Sunday morning we're going to church. So that brings me to the first F, which is faith. And I, for many years, I think I just went to church. It was just something we did. I really didn't understand faith till many years down the road. But I was blessed to have two great parents that really lived and walked by faith through their whole life. I, I really call my dad my hero. I saw a man who constantly showed love to my mother, just constantly stood up for what he believed in, and really just stepped out. I can think of countless times, Dad would bring somebody home he found on the street, gave him a place to stay. But my parents showed me faith and kind of centered in their life around God, just by their actions and what they did, whether it was finances and what they gave, whether, like I said, what was bringing somebody into the house and really just loving my mother. That, to me, I, as I grew up, I, sh I kind of found out how really exceptional that was. So the second F in my life is my family. I've been married for 14 years to my wife, her bride. We're actually high school sweethearts. One thing I have on her is that I kind of use a lot is I broke up with her in seventh grade Aww. because I had to concentrate on basketball season. <laughs> um, but after that, we got back together, and we've really been together ever since. So we've been dating and uh, really just have three beautiful children together. My, I have a daughter that's 10 years old, big into gymnastics. Her name's Bailey. I describe her, she kind of looks a little more like me. But this, she's just such a good girl. My wife's a school teacher. This kind of describes Bailey. Last year when they were in uh, the same school together, Bailey, you have to walk on this line. She would not say hi to her mom because she was afraid she was going to get in trouble. She's just a good girl. My uh, middle child, Bodie, seven years old. I describe him as this. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey smell just like me. <laughs> My wife really reminds me of this every day. <clears throat> if I do it, Bodie is going to say it, do it, try it. So i got to be careful. <laughs> and then my third child, Briley, he's three years old, just kind of like his big brother, into everything. They're all boy. We're constantly outside doing family activities all the time together. And going into the second F in my life is fitness. Fitness has just always been a huge part of my life. My dad was my football coach, so I always had that, him kind of pushing me and challenging me, whether it was wrestling, football, or basketball. But fitness for me is something that I've always just kind of loved. I'm one of them sick people that kind of just like pain. I really enjoy, there's few things in life that I, I really just love to go out and compete. And the, the pain of getting there is something I love. Uh, so whether it's me trying gymnastics right now, one of the vets with my daughter is, I'm going to try to learn to do a back tuck before the end of the summer. So if I come in here with a broken arm, you'll probably know what happened. But we're always just doing different types of sports, mountain biking, triathlons, uh, really involved in all different types of sports. I also swim on the Grand Strand Masters swim team. Just kind of picked it up. I'm willing to try about any sport. The only one I can say I don't really love is golf, and I live in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> but back in 2012, October 2012, uh, I finished uh, an Ironman triathlon. 
It's one of the, out of all the competitions I've done, mud runs, different events, it was one of the few things when I crossed that finish line, the fortitude that just the strength, because it was one of the items that pushed both my mind, body and mind, because your body will go so much further, your mind will quit way before the body. And it was one of them tests, and when I got through that line, I just kind of put my hands up uh, where there was nothing like it. So I constantly seek out and look for events like that. So I really try to center my life around the three S's. I try to put God first with my faith. My family kind of wraps around that. And then fitness. And if you guys listen close enough, if you're ever by my house, you're probably going to hear me singing to my kids. It's time to get up. It's time to get up in the morning on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you.